<coughs> oh, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 340, week uh, 28. Um, today we're, uh, I'll tell you a quick story. I, I went to get some uh, sandpaper a couple days ago, and I was embarrassed. You know, sandpaper, a sheet of sandpaper is just about the most basic thing you can have. Um, you should be able to reach down and pick up whatever you want. Well, I couldn't do that because my sandpaper organization for my sheet sandpaper is absolutely, absolutely embarrassing. So I'm going to share that embarrassment with you. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to fix that. We're going to try to come up with a plan. We're going to build something. Uh, we're going to do something, but we've got to uh, we've got to fix it. So today we're going to be fixing the sandpaper drawer. But we're not going to get anything done unless we knock off the chit chat and get to work. Now the truth is, if I need a clamp. I go right over that clamp wall and get it. If I need a pair of pliers, I go to the top drawer of that toolbox and I get it. And if I want a sheet of 220 sandpaper for my orbital sander, I open up this drawer and there it is. But if I want a sheet of a sheet of sandpaper, this is 400 grit, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this is, I don't know what any of these are, I don't even know what's down here. Here's a, some 80 grit, it's just a mess. What's this? This is 120 grit. Anyway, anyway, we need to sort this mess out. I'm tired of embarrassing myself. Okay, I've moved this monstrosity over here on the uh, workbench. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to unload it, see what I got in here, and then try to come up with a plan. I'll bring it back when I get it unloaded and have something cogent to say. This is kind of funny. What I'm going to do instead of throwing the trash in a regular trash can I'm going to put trash in this uh, green bucket here so that at the end of uh, the cleanup operation I can see how much trash I was storing in this box I got all the trash out of the drawers now what I think I'm going to do is uh, maybe put some little baffles in there for the uh, to organize my sandpaper in little pockets for different sizes. Let me come up with a system and I'll bring you back. Well, I've been scheming, and this is what I've come up with so far. Figured I would install cleats like I have back here. And then I could attach the cleats to the side and then attach my separator panels to the cleats. And I could just build them as I came this way. Um, but I've nixed that idea because once, if I do it that way, once I put these panels in place, uh, you know, I, I can't move them around. I can't adjust them. Uh, they, they would be, you couldn't fix them. You couldn't adjust them. You couldn't do anything. So, I've nixed that idea. So, no cleats. Instead, what I'm toying with is putting, cutting these angled uh, dados and a cleat that goes along the side and then my panels 
would slide into the into that uh, into that cleat, and then I could adjust it. Okay, I've already got one of these done. Let me show you how I set this up. So to set this up, I simply put this angled cleat in at the angle I needed and then I can just push it through and make these this series of angled dados. But the other side is a mirror image so I have to uh, take this cleat loose and move it over in this angle here. Now the simplest jigs are the best jigs. What you're going to see me doing is I've, I've got this first, I've got these lines on the board and I'll run it through the first one then I'll move the board down until the second line is lined up and I'll run it there and so forth right down the line and it'll be identical to the other one. Let's give that a try. Here's the scheme uh, and these panels will come out and they'll angle back. I think I'm going to attach these cleats with screws, no glue. Um, these other panels are just in place too. Uh, that way any further modifications will be so painful. Okay, I'll go ahead and put some screws in this thing and we'll keep working along. I'm using these uh, three-quarter inch, probably too small for you to see, or three-quarter inch pan, pan head screws. Thing about these little projects, <clears throat> thing about these little projects is, you know, you got to do the same things you do on the big ones. Same setups. What they do when they put these. Uh, when they engineer these dado blades, they just uh, leave absolutely no tolerance uh, on that auger. Obviously, because they don't want to vibrate and jump off the saw. Sometimes it's hard to get it off. Uh, 
now what I got to do is uh, cut up some more panels so we can make more dividers. What I do here is uh, cut some eight foot, eight inch slices through the plywood. Uh, then I'll cut it to length. Well, here's our new revamped uh, sandpaper drawer. You know, uh, just looking at it, just thinking this would make a good filing system too. I have to keep that in mind. Cleaned up the drawer, got all the trash out of it, figured out what sandpaper we had. We designed it, built it, and tested it. But that whole mess, that's all the sandpaper we got out of it. I need to buy some more sandpaper. All right, so I guess that does it for uh, Memphis Monday 340. Well, it does it for uh, Memphis Monday 340. Uh, today we refabbed uh, that, uh, that sandpaper drawer. I made a new little filing system for the uh, sandpaper. It may seem like a small thing, but when you uh, need some sandpaper, it's nice just to open the drawer, take out what you need, and that's it. You don't have to shuffle through a bunch of greasy rags and gee dunk wrappers and everything else to get to what you're trying to find. And putting your glasses on, trying to read the back of the sheet to find out, make sure it's the right grit and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I'm pretty satisfied with that project. I like these small projects. Um, I don't think we call it a shop improvement, but it's uh, definitely shop maintenance. All right, like and favorite and share and all the other stuff to you on the internet. Most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.